Coming up now, it's the gold medal match in the mixed team recurve. And what a lineup we've got here. We know that the Koreans love their recurve archery. Came to Germany in the quarterfinals 6 2. And they'll face the USA, who beat Spain. So it's Korea versus the USA for gold. Let's welcome the teams out onto the field of play here in Medellin. Damas y caballero, recibimos con un fuerte aplauso el partido por la medalla de oro. El arco recurvo es Coming out first is the Cristo. team from the USA, Brady Ellison, leading out Casey Coffold. USA face Korea. Kim Woo Jin leading out his teammate Kang Chai Young. Contrast between the two teams here. Korea on target one. But the USA will shoot first on target two. The Koreans looking uh, quite stoic, but uh, certainly concentrated. Brady Ellison and uh, Casey Koffold uh, laughing and giggling on the line. Uh, and they were now. It is, in fact, Korea who are shooting first. So this for the gold medal here in Colombia. Brady Ellison, well known and well liked on the circuit, will shoot first for the USA. Great start from the Americans. That should settle any nerves that uh, Coffold may be carrying. a little bit biased as to who wins this match but uh i think we got off to a really good start here on this uh finals field yeah and you need to against the koreans you can't give them any breathing space maybe they'll give us some breathing space a little rise of the glasses trademark from kim wijin to the eight from Kang, but an opportunity here for the USA. Yep. Beautiful 
response there from Coffold as well, shooting the second and the third arrows. That will do it for Team USA. They take the first the two set points, 38 to 37, against the mighty Korea. Now, you won a gold medal in Salt Lake City in this event, uh, shooting next to Brody Ellison. Uh, what, it looks, he looks like he's enjoying himself and has a good time. Yeah, uh, something about Brady that's really awesome is uh, he's just really relaxed and likes to joke about just different things, not archery really, but uh, well, look, you can see the, how, that, how that benefits them in this grouping. Um, we've got pretty tight grouping, a little bit high. USA um, in red. Yep, and then we've got the Koreans where they've, you know, Kim Woo Jin is just a little bit low of the X-ring, and then uh, Kang is just getting a little bit more dialed in, I think. Um, uh, smiling on Casey Koffold there. She's uh, looking very relaxed, and uh, it seems to be working for her as well. Shooting a lovely 10 there to finish off her uh, performance in the first set. Yeah, absolutely. Um, something you mentioned before, too, is that she's shooting second and third. Um, that may be something that's just a little bit of a comfort. You know, having to be able to shoot that last arrow, um, a little bit of a time crunch, he may be more comfortable with that. Well, the Koreans trailing here in the second set of the mixed team gold medal match, and it's Kang to shoot first. So to me, that looks like a nine. Um, so I think that'll be changed to a nine asterisk, and I think they'll probably have well, you, just as you said it. a little bit of a, a check down there with the judges. Oh, one's just a bit high, so he's made a little adjustment as you uh, perhaps suggested he was going to, uh, but uh, two nines, uh, well, I think we're both pretty convinced that that first shot is a nine. It will go to a measure. <laughs> Americans have switched order, which of course they're allowed to do. Uh, Coffold this time shooting the first arrow, getting an eight. two arrows to share the set points. She didn't look too happy with that shot. Um, I, I think maybe she just made a few adjustments on her sight so that she can get back into the tent. Yep. Shot from right there. Yeah, solid 10 from uh, Brady Ellison. But uh, Korea have fought back immediately. The USA took the first set. Korea, back on level terms, having taken the second. Two apiece in the gold medal match here in Colombia. Yes, yeah, solid performance from uh, the Koreans in the second set. And uh, that was the final arrow of the set that secured the points for Korea. We didn't really get to see uh, the arrow call on that one. That was an asterisk, but uh, it didn't really matter if it was in or out. Uh, so we're going to go to tied sets. And uh, it's really anybody's game right now. 
Well, it was confirmed as a nine, that arrow. But like you say, it didn't make any difference. And with the scores all tied up, we go back to the original lineup, and Korea will shoot first in the third set. have stuck with the order right the way through. Let's see what the USA have done. Maybe they'll revert to Ellison shooting first. They don't. It's Calfold. Nine just out. Third set out of reach. That's a little bit of user error there, but uh, what you what you may not have heard is that uh, Coach Lee on the USA side said just stay focused, make sure you make your shot, and I yeah. think that's really important, even if that other team throws an arrow. Well, a 10 required from Ellison after the uh, 8 from Koffold, and uh, that will tie things up in the third set. Yep, and he does, Julie, get that 10, and uh, he's so cool, calm, and collected under pressure, and we took uh, about them being very relaxed and then smiling and having a bit of a laugh, but when it came down to it, Brady Ellison needed a 10, and he shot a 10. Yeah, absolutely, and I also think something uh, that's cool is that Brady is feeling the best he's ever felt right now, and I, I train with him pretty much full-time in Chula Vista, and he is really feeling like his shot is going where he wants it to be. He's stronger than he's been in a really long time. Um, so I think he's really enjoying. Well, this is what opened the door for him. Uh, Kim shooting that seven. And there is Ellison looking so cool, calm, and collected. And as the momentum just starts to shift back towards Team USA, scores tied up. Korean's fist bump will shoot first in this fourth set. Yeah. Yeah. Clock has started, 80 seconds to shoot all four arrows. Kang steps up perhaps for the final set here in this gold medal match. Just a little bit of a longer hold there for Kim. I, I think he's used to a quicker pace. Um, so that is really crucial in a finals match like this. Well, where there's opportunity, there's pressure. Oh, the pressure telling there 
on Casey Coffold shooting an eight. Ellison will want to get another ten here so that they're at least level on points halfway through potentially the final set. Still a really good shot from Brady, and there's no telling what Korea is going to be shooting in this next half of the set. So, yes, yeah, usually you can back on tens with the Koreans, but uh, well, the first event of the season. There you go. Like I said anything can happen. Pressure's on Kim to get a 10. Oh, that'll be nine by the, the judge or by the uh, PA announcer, but it's marked up as a 10. Hey, Casey. Yeah, I think that'll be a, a line a call. A chance here for America. <laughs> yep, she gets the 10. Oh, 10 from Ellison will win this. Oh, he's pulled it into the nine. So their scores are tied on 36 apiece, but we both think that that 10 from Korea is subject to a measure. And if it gets marked down to a nine, the USA have taken this one. We like to get our money's worth, so as many arrows as possible. Target one, ten, nine, nine, eight. So it will have a shoot off. That judge just called that a ten. Target two, ten, nine, nine, eight. Well, there you go. All square after four sets, 36 apiece in that final set. So we go to a tiebreaker, a shoot off, a mini set. Both archers will just shoot one arrow each. First, we'll go on the score of those arrows. If the score's the same, then they measure the, the, the two arrows that are closest to the center. Uh, and uh, whoever gets closest to the center takes the gold. Yeah, it's it's definitely a high pressure situation between two really strong teams right now. So we're hoping for the best shots out in there. Well, the targets are replaced because of the need to go for a measure. They don't want uh, the holes from the previous arrows to interfere with a measure if required. And we look down the 70 meter range and see Engineers hard at work putting up the new target and then uh, calibrating Falco Eye, the uh, camera system that gives us those beautiful graphics of where the arrows hit the target. Well, here we go for the gold medal. We couldn't separate Korea and the USA. We'll go to a shoot off to see who is going to be on top of the podium here in Medellin. Korea will shoot first, and it's Kang up to the shooting line. the other target it's now got it's it. Casey Coffold to shoot first for the USA yep yeah. and that's in the 10 <laughs> now in normal circumstances we'd expect this man to just nail a 10 but nothing's been normal here Just like that, he proves under pressure that he can score a 10. Over to Brady Ellison. Okay. And a 10 will take this. Good. 
to nine and we'll go to a measure and you know what i think kim's arrow is closer than kovalt and i think the koreans do as well the handshakes come out they've already decided they are measuring down the other end but i think everybody knows that Kim's 10 was closer than Kofholt. The Koreans have taken gold in the mixed team. Kim Woo Jin and Kang Chai Yong. And the really, really entertaining Korean coach comes into shot, thumbs up. He's great fun, isn't he? Yeah, lots of fun. Korea are the gold medalist in the mixed team at stage one of the Hyundai Archery World Cup here in Colombia.